Welcome to Beast Valley TV. Thank you for watching our previous video. My name is Lavinia Shaw. I'm from Silver Fiji. Today I will begin by speaking on the eight laws of health. In a world full of turmoil at the moment, we have a manual which gives us hope beyond what the world can give. That manual is the Bible in which there are guidelines for successful living. I refer to the eight the laws of health. There are eight laws of health. One is air, second one is water, nutrition of proper diet, sunlight, exercise, moderation or temperance, rest, and the last but not the least, trust in divine power. Let's start with air. Not only is air necessary for life, but equally important is the quality of air. Air consists of 79% nitrogen, 20% oxygen, 1% mixture of gases. Back to the Garden of Eden, when God created the first man, it was in a clay form. Then God had to breathe the breath of life, making it a living soul. Here is a reenactment of the creation of the first man. When a baby is finally delivered, it is not breathing. If this baby does not take the first breath of life, it won't survive. From the moment the baby takes its first breath, it does not stop breathing until God takes away that breath of life. You can live without food for more than a week, water for more than a day, but you cannot survive without air in a matter of seconds. Quality of air can be destroyed by smoking, living in cities, agricultural pursuits, industrial jobs, and manufacturing processes, and so many more. All these limit lifespan. The second one, water. The composition is two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen. Our body consists of about 70 to 80 percent of water. Our body organs need water to operate correctly. For example, our blood is largely composed of water and a lack of water will cause our blood to become thick, thus impeding effective circulation. Lack of water leads to constipation and poor eternal elimination of wastes, leading to conditions such as varicose veins, even bad breath. Water is necessary to cool the human body via sweating. 3. God's Original Diet or Nutrition God's original diet is found in Genesis 1.21. However, after our original parents were expelled from the garden, there was an addition to the diet in Genesis 3.18. There are many so-called experts in the world today telling us what constitutes proper diet, but they are only guessing. I will provide you with the elements of a proper diet, which is grains, fruits, nuts, and vegetables. In the biblical account, there is no suggestion of cooking. We can then conclude that our food should largely be raw. I will leave you for a moment with those three laws for you to consider and be excited about the five remaining laws. This is in contrast with keeping a clean, healthy, the temple of the living God, which is your body and your prayers will not be impeded or prevented from reaching the heavenly throne. Thank you.